guys, guys, this is literally what I have to do to get my camera in focus. <laughs> is get my vacuum cleaner and use it as a prop because I have no friends. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Super Raid Dizzle here. Welcome back to my channel. So occasionally I'll get these weird urges at like three in the morning where I'm like, I need to get my life together. And the most recent urge was I need to clean this room out, get it all together, get rid of all the crap that I don't need. You know, just trying to make it look a little bit better than what it currently does. And while I was looking through all the crap that I have, I realized that I have a ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous amount of colored pencils. Like, more colored pencils than anybody would ever need in their lifetime. And so I thought, what better way to test out all these pencils, see which ones still suck, see which ones are still good, by getting every single one that I own and using every single one on one drawing. So yes, we are going to be using colored pencils from Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future. So a lot of these pencils you're probably going to recognize from like other videos that I've made. And with this, we'll be able to see how all the formulas work together. And guys, I am talking about the bad, the good, the ugly. And uh, real quick before we start, on my last post on my art Instagram, I did a huge ask me anything uh, kind of a questionnaire and I went ahead and answered over 300 or 400 different answers. So guys, if there's anything that you've ever wanted to know about me, it's there. Anyway, so without further ado, let's begin. Now, normally I would use this notebook for my coloring, but today we're whipping out the big boys. So, if you're like me, and you don't like to spend all your money on art supplies, <laughs> then, uh, sanding down some poster board will work the exact same. And, uh, yeah, we are ready to start <laughs> preparing for the hours of labor that are gonna be coming up next, and I can start my outline. Woo! Outline's done. So, in case you haven't noticed, I am a total edgelord, and today I will be drawing a skull. Okay, starting off with everybody's favorite colored pencils, Crayola. If you've never done art before, you've probably used these colored pencils at least sometime in your life. I love these pencils, I use them all the time, and there's only 36 of them. To be honest guys, I don't know how to start this, so I'm just gonna jump right in and hope for the best. But, I feel like the easiest thing I should do is uh, basically put down every single secondary and uh, primary color down and then build up from there. And I chose to use Crayola first because they're just the easiest, they're the good guy, they're like the OG, like everybody, everybody likes Crayola. Next we're gonna get fancy as f and I'm going to be using uh, Faber-Castell. Ugh, these are just the best colored pencils. Faber-Castell, they worked with me one time, it was like the highlight of my life. Okay, I know that didn't look like much, but it was really cool, okay? These next pencils, guys, I bought these literally months ago for a video. Uh, they're erasable Prismacolors, which is really exciting because these are the first time that I've ever actually used these and they're completely unsharpened. Oh my god, that is annoying. Okay, that took an abnormally long time. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves is whenever you get colored pencils that aren't sharpened. But I digress. Next, we are using these total ripoffs. Uh, I did a video on these, and these are the Crayola Premier Fancy Pantsy. Oh, they are just the worst. So if you guys want to see the hot mess of a video that I featured these in, I'll link it down below. But basically, these are very overpriced pencils, and they just have very bad quality. <laughs> just thinking about it now makes me blood boil. Next up are the, uh, the Raffini pencils? Raffine. Nay. <laughs> Raffini. Whatever these pencils are called, I don't know. But uh, I use these for my uh, wish.com art supply haul thing. And these, they're alright. Next up are the pencils that I have been dreading. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, these are a 72 count pencil pack. So, as far as like the watercolor pencils go, I decided way in advance that I was going to use them for their intended use, which is like as an actual watercolor pencils. And guys, 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 there's just so many pencils and there's like weird colors, like there's a gold in here, like what am I supposed to do with that? And let's be honest here, I think it was my fault that it was so muddy, uh, I should have added more pigment, so I would like to call this segment Being Dumb. Okay, on to my uh, absolute most favorite, most treasured pencils. 
These are the Artify watercolor colored pencils. Huh, that's always a mouthful. And these, uh, these are my most treasured pencils because they were given to me by somebody who is no longer here with us. And they're just totally amazing, so <laughs> 10 out of 10. I don't even know if you can get these pencils anymore, but I love them. Okay, next up is the Crazy Art Colored Pencils, and I feel like I just did a review, so I feel like most of you guys know what it is. And guys, like, what's the point? There's like no pigment, you know? So, uh, these didn't really make a dent, they didn't really add too much of anything to the art, so not even the black really worked that well. So, you know, eh. <laughs> Okay guys, we need to hurry this up because I have so many more colored pencils left and I don't think I'm going to be able to narrate every single one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the finale. <sighs> Finally, we have reached the end. At this point, like, my hand's hurting, I'm tired, I'm ready to go to sleep. Like, I am just done. And I feel like a lot of you are probably thinking, like, why do you have all these colored pencils? <laughs> like, way too many. But I need these for referencing, um, like, in different videos and comparisons. So that way I can buy all the bad colored pencils and you guys don't have to. Okay, are we live? Because it was a literal struggle trying to get my giant head through this tiny piece of cloth. <laughs> so all around, I think this drawing slash painting thing was all around pretty successful. But like I said, there were things that I didn't like. For example, I wish the watercolor would have been a bro and just melted down just a little bit. And I wish that some of the colors would have actually been able to layer on better than what they did. But this is coming from a girl who's never used over like 25 different colors in a drawing before. So all around, it was pretty interesting to see how everything layered and how everything worked together. Uh, it kind of gave me a new insight to colored pencils and what I can and can't use. And yes guys, I've listed a whole entire shit ton of other videos that I've uh, referenced and done in the past. So if you guys want to go check all of those out, of course I'll leave them all in the description box below. And um, yeah, of course I'll leave like my Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff here. With that being said, let me know what you guys want me to review next or what challenges you want me to do or what kind of videos you want to see on this channel. Um, I love you guys so much and I will see you next video. Bye! Oh wow guys, I made a mess. <laughs> but I have a lot of colored pencils that I had to work with today. Holy crap.